In today's lecture, we discussed ideology. The suffix of the word logi derives from the Greek word logos, meaning word, reason, speech, or account. It describes theories or doctrines which present ideas or notions which categorize the thinking orientation of groups or nations. Orient meaning to point your beliefs in a certain direction. Ideology is an integrated set of ideas and beliefs, and it looks at the use of theories which are formed by the observation and generalization of events of current and past times. The system of thoughts are formed by general concepts which are abstracted ideas. It is the reasoning involving the formation of conclusions based on inconclusive evidence. Ideology is categorized by culture and determines the social structure of people, dividing them into classes and generalizations of beliefs. In today's lecture, we discussed progress as an ideology. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Progress is a notion that man is the center of creation. This fueled the selfish consumerist lifestyle of postmodern times. The fact that we have the ability to understand and control our environment has led to technological adv advancements after the Industrial Revolution. This has led to social development and progress derives from our uh, curiosity of what we can create um, and use to better our society. The Western mindset of shunning the bad and striving for greatness and power has had a severe impact on the division of our society and political classes. The notion that knowledge is power has fueled the, our modern progress. In today's lecture, we discussed economic ideologies, and it relates to notions of the economy in relation to trade and industry and the creation of wealth creating profit using less money. Economic ideology is the opinionated perspective of what should be used to aid in economic development. It is used to categorize the individual's desirability towards the economy. Adam Smith wanted to create a profitable and civilized economy and used people for their skills and created free trade which then created the division of labor. It is the idea that economic prosperity comes from healthy competition, that reducing the limits between individual people helps them act based on self-interest and are driven by selfish pursuits, which, which ultimately lead to the greater wealth. This derives from the consumerism mindset of materialistic wealth. Instead of informing themselves and questioning those in power. People become unable to rationalize their own superstition. There is a difference between how things are and the way they seem. Today we looked at democracy as an ideology. Social democracy is also defined as a utopian ideology. It's a system of government by the whole population and its eligible members through elected representatives. It is the dedication to the realization of the values of self-determination. Everyone has an obligation to vote, giving everyone a voice and allowing each individual to choose how they want their country to be government, governed. Um, it strives toward political equality and respects the value of human rights. Having a voice regardless of race, gender or social class, equal rule of law that promotes safety, freedom and peace. Citizens have to participate in the government system, allowing each person to have freedom of speech and media spread. In today's lecture, we discussed gender as an ideology. It is defined as the difference between men and women being as a result of education and social indoctrination. That it is possible to choose whether to be a man or a woman, regardless of a person's biology. It has no scientific basis, therefore making it pure ideology. 
Females have been oppressed by the patriarchal society for generations and are still seen as weak and submissive, and men are seen as powerful and dominant. African philosophies are focused on spirituality and ancestry and use these ideologies to form a foundation for their social conventions and cultural traditions. Men were seen as leaders, hunters, and women were seen as helpers and gatherers forming the basis of gender tradition of modern society. Pre-colonial African countries were divided into the monarchies, a government, a government of women, and the patriarchy, a government of men. Today we discussed race as an ideology. It is defined as the major characterizations into which mankind is considered based on physical identity and shared ancestry, belonging between similar physical, cultural and social traditions and attributes. There has been a color-coded hierarchy of races for centuries. It is a division between social classes. Slavery had a phenomenal impact on racial discrimination and classification, and people were seen as inferior because of social status and class, based on race as a classification of economic and social ideology. In the past, there has been a social distancing between races and dehumanizing of a certain races as a form of control and power, not providing equal opportunities of people seen as racially inferior, taking away education as a form of control when you consider the notion of knowledge is power.